Hey, welcome to Weather Center Live. We're so glad you're here with us today. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Bonnie Schneider. Valentine's Day weekend, just a few hours away, but there's nothing sweet about the weather you're going to face this holiday. Oh, Bonnie. You know, <laughs> dangerous cold will blast through much of the eastern half of the country on the way where you aren't budging out of the teens mm. tomorrow. Thanks so much, Reagan. Well, we're going to talk a lot about this weather across the Northeast with the wind chill warning across much of upstate New York and into New England. Temperatures are going to plummet. It's going to feel even colder than that, well below zero. And, you know, even if you're a hardy New Englander, you're just not used to the numbers getting this low. Right now, 22 in Boston, 25 in New York City, and 25 in Philadelphia. But don't get used to this. As Dave said, they are going down from here. The Arctic plunge continues to work its way to the south, and it's going to Make a big difference in how it feels outside for those of you that be out and about on Valentine's Day. I know, I guess maybe it's good to be cold out, but not this cold for Valentine's. It's going to be dangerously cold. Let's take a closer look at the forecast for Saturday. 10 degrees in Pittsburgh. That's 28 degrees below average. These are the high temperatures. Then 19 in New York City. That's 22 degrees below average. Incredible. Even Boston's only looking at high of 14. And by the time we get to President's Day, we're looking at temperatures a little bit better at 33 or 38 degrees, but still cold enough that it's going to be cold. <laughs> I think by tomorrow morning, we'll be feeling the cold in Pittsburgh. The wind chill in Pittsburgh and Syracuse, Dave, negative. Six. I'll bet. You know, traditionally, the Iditarod has its ceremonial start in Anchorage. Yes. But then teams head somewhere else to actually begin the 1100 mile race. Well, they had to move the start of the race last year due to a lack of snow. This year as well, they're going to move the start, but something else is making those in the forecast. Well, it doesn't look likely when you look at the temperatures. So here's Anchorage, 36 degrees. Fairbanks at nine. Willow is north of Fairbanks, about 75 miles north of Anchorage. And so they had to go for the uh, Iditarod where the snow is. And you can see where the temperatures are, are cold enough for it. But what about Anchorage? It's been warmer there than in parts of the south, believe it or not, this year. And D.C. has seen more snow. Our forecast calls for temperatures to stay in the mid to low 30s. Snow, I don't know. It's not going to stick if we get any. Dave? Thanks, Bob. Yeah, that'll be a break for our friends in Boston and New York City to look forward to just rain. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Carl, yeah, appreciate that. Well, turning now to another big story this yeah. week, Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas cruise liner that returned to port after sailing into the fury of a winter storm, Max. That was last weekend. Well, today, a new concern has... Bill Doherty. He is the former safety manager for Norwegian Cruise Lines and has even testified before Congress on issues of cruise ship safety. Captain Doherty, thanks for being with us. We should point out that he is not connected with the Royal Caribbean investigation. And we want to ask you about this recent development about the proposal. Can you explain to our viewers how this might impact a future journey? 